as fishermen, uh, we want to make sure our gear is tuned just so. And one of the things is our uh, temperature sensors that are in our transducers. Now they're not always calibrated to perfection. And so in order to do that, there's various methods. But one method that I've used that works really well is using a bucket of ice water. You know that's gonna be pretty close to 32 degrees, especially if you've had that on ice for several minutes where that water can uh, equalize as far as the temperature is concerned. So the best way to do that is to remove it, dunk it in there, then you can go through the installation configuration on your display and either raise or lower the temperature offset to correct for a miscalibrated uh, temperature sensor. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, this is a particular um, all-in-one, three-in-one, I should say, AI three-in-one Lowrance. I'm gonna use this one right here and calibrate this particular one today. So a couple of 10 millimeter bolts, pop that out and we'll put that in a bucket of water. Because I have my levels set correctly or my angles, I actually make a mark here so that when I go back to reassemble this, uh, I can get it just a perfect angle just by matching up my red paint lines that I have there. Get our bucket of ice water. We're gonna dump the whole assembly in there. Let's go ahead and uh, leave this in here. I'm gonna give it about 20 minutes. The reason why is that it takes a while for the sensors on, the, on these particular uh, transducers from Lowrance, especially these big three-in-ones, to actually get to the correct temperature. And, and why I say that is the ambient air temperature right now today, it's 85 degrees. And you're gonna go from 85 degrees to 32 degrees, and it takes a while. Um, if you don't wait long enough, you're going to find that it's, you know, still far away from 32 degrees. That's just the nature of the beast. Um, you, you'll find that some transducers, you may be able to uh, get a, um, a, a, a steady state temperature earlier. But um, again, I'm, ju I'm just saying this three in one for sure. It takes a while. It takes a good... 15, 20 minutes before it gets down to the 32 degrees. So there is a lesson here. <clears throat> if you have a wide temperature swing and you're looking for temperature breaks, don't expect to see a temperature break, a rapid temperature change on your display using this particular transducer because it does not react that fast, just so you know. And if you wanna turn it on earlier and experiment, uh, not calibrate, but just turn it on and watch, you will see for yourself that it is not, you know, where it needs to be, um, even close. So we're going to give it a good 15 minutes, well, 15, 20 minutes, and then we'll go fire up the display and I'll show you where the settings are on the Lorenz. I just want to demonstrate real quick what I mean about taking time. Uh, this has been in the bucket of ice water now for about 10 minutes. And you can see it's at 38.4, 38.3, okay. <laughs> the display also averages the samples, the temperature samples. So that way you don't get erratic jumping around if you have a very sensitive sensor. But let's be brutally honest here. The AI 3-in-1 is not a sensitive temperature sensor. You can see how slowly this is reacting okay so now we're at 38.0 it's it's taking its time here so uh, again this is a good demonstration so if you're using this particular sensor and you're looking for temperature breaks in water using that to determine if you're going to fish somewhere just realize that this is not a super sensitive quick responding i should say temperature sensor. You may want to look at a different, you know, adding another one in, on, on your network. Okay, I'm going to pause and uh, give this another 10 minutes so it can come to temperature so we can actually do the calibration. Okay, it's been a half an hour, so let's go ahead and fire this up. 
Okay, so on my chart page, I have a overlay, uh, data overlay that has my temperature here. You can see that uh, we have 33.2 degrees. It's in the bucket of water, so it should be pretty close to 32 degrees, if not 32 degrees exactly. Um, so we need to adjust this offset. The way you set that is go back onto your main pages, go under settings, sonar, installation, and then you need to select the uh, transducer that you're going to calibrate. In this case, I have the three and one that's in channel one, or excuse me, in channel two, and you'll see uh, water temperature. And this is when we can set our offset. So here we need to set, see we're at 33.2. So we need to decrement this or take this down to uh, minus 1.2. So we're gonna hit minus one, two, that's good. Hit okay, hit save, hit save again. And there we go. Now we have our correct temperature offset. So we were off about one, a little over one degree, which is not unusual, but at least this gives you a good point of calibration. Video was helpful, and hopefully this will help you easily calibrate your transducer, especially your transom mounted transducer. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. It definitely helps me out, appreciate that. And hope that this helps you catch more fish. Hope to see you out there soon. Take care now.